Good evening, welcome to ITV News. This is Friday night's calendar. Here are tonight's main stories. First tonight, as the cricket racism crisis continues unabated, those who run the sport met at the Oval in London today to discuss equality, diversity and inclusion. Cricket's 18 first-class counties joined other representatives in the week that former Yorkshire cricketer Azim Rafiq laid bare his experience of racial abuse in a testimony to a Commons committee. Yesterday, though, Mr Rafiq himself was forced to apologise for an anti-Semitic tweet he posted as a 19-year-old. Next tonight, businesses across our region have spent the day assessing the economic impact of the scaled back rail plans, which saw Northern Powerhouse Rail, that's the planned link between Yorkshire and the North West, downgraded, and the eastern leg of HS2, connecting Birmingham and Leeds, cancelled. One software company in Sheffield says investors will be put off coming into the city. But another manufacturer at Bransburton in East Yorkshire says it will still benefit from contracts to supply HS2 elsewhere in the country. Katie Oscroff reports. Well, next tonight, a bit of a worrying one we've been looking into today, with more patients than ever before being treated at Hull's emergency department. That's with more staff, increased lab testing, and even an extra ward being opened up to deal with the unprecedented level of demand. A spike in COVID cases in North East Lincolnshire has prompted the area's Director of Public Health to warn that there's a 50-50 chance that compulsory mask wearing and working from home might have to be brought back. Now, still to come on the programme this evening. Some news in brief now. Parents must be allowed to buy some uniforms from high street shops as well as school suppliers. That's according to new rules by the government. More than 50 arts venues and groups across the region have received a share of £107 million worth of government funding to help their recovery from the COVID pandemic. Now, figures seen by calendar show eight in ten mums and dads have suffered symptoms of so-called parental burnout during the COVID pandemic. Action for Children are reporting worrying increases in anxiety, sleep disruption and depression. It's thought a combination of homeschooling, fears over job security and with rising living costs are to blame. Experts are reminding us there is help at hand and no one should suffer in silence, as Matt Price reports. OK, the ITV Evening News continues at 6.30. Here's a look at what's happening with Charlene White. Thanks, Charlene. Now, even if you're not a fan of rugby league, you can't fail to have been touched by the story of Mossy Masoy, who in January 2020 was told he might never walk again after suffering a freak accident playing for Hull Kingston Rovers. Well, thanks to the generosity of friends, teammates and the rugby league community, Mossy is now able to walk again. Tomorrow, Mossy and his family fly back home to Australia to start a new life, as Chris Dawkes now reports. And we wish Mossy and his family all the very best. Absolutely. Now, Christmas party season is fast approaching and venues around our region are reporting an increase in bookings as demand for in-person gatherings starts to return to pre-pandemic levels. But employment law experts are warning company bosses that while big get-togethers for staff are permitted this year, the prevalence of COVID could still cause them issues, putting a dampener on the Christmas spirit. Nick Smith reports. I've been practising. Grech. Grech. Grech, we Grech. think. I've been sat, we've got a new skill, we've been sat listening to it all afternoon. <laughs> Here's Emma Jesson with the weather. Emma, thank you. And that's it from us. I'll be back with our next update at 10.30. The national and international stories are next with Charlie and White. But for now, from the team here on Calendar, thanks very much for watching and have a good weekend. Bye -bye. See you soon.